I'm Betty Danjack, and today with Look Who's Cooking, I have a very good friend from a long time ago. We decided how long ago, uh, about 21 years. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. been a while. <laughs> this is Olivia Brady, and Olivia lives here in Norristown mm -hmm. uh, with her family, her husband and her son. And we'll go along and we'll talk about what you do besides mm -hmm. your husband and your son. I know you're very active in the borough. But let's start with your cooking. This is your very own yeah, this recipe. Is, this is my own dish. Um, I, I like to cook things that have a lot of texture and a lot of color. And this thing, this is, does have a lot of color. I call it scallop Santa Cruz. And the reason I, I call it name. Santa Cruz is because a lot of restaurants that I went to, when they have avocado in the recipe, they call it Santa Cruz. So that's why I named it that. But this recipe is scallops. My favorite scallops seafood. And salsa. And I brought mild salsa today. Good. Because I know you <laughs> have a sensitivity to spice. Usually I use hot because my family really likes the hot spots, the salsa and the spice. And I like the, the mixture of the, the scallop texture and the spiciness and the creaminess of the avocado. But I brought mild today. Okay. And we okay. also use wine and olive oil and butter. So don't worry about the fat cat categories. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> but we're also going to cook asparagus at the same time. And uh, what I'd like to do Whoop. is uh, I did it. <laughs> is to I buy fresh asparagus from the um, grocery store. And I, I like to make sure that it's, it's nice and firm. And then when you, when you break it, uh, a lot of people cut off the end, yes. but I like to just snap it. When it snaps, that's where that? the uh, woodiness of it is, gonna, is off. I hope it gets so in your eye. <laughs> we just snap off the ends, and I have this a steamer in a pot of water. Okay. And I like to cook asparagus Can I whole. Help you with this? Sure. Okay. I like to cook asparagus when it's whole because um, it has a nice presentation. You know the asparagus that they sell canned and it's in little pieces? Mm -hmm. They're like sticks. Uh, They're really they taste bad. Really, I mean, really sort of. Uh, pasty or moldy and or slimy. And if you slimy. get real good, you can do two <laughs> at a time. Mm-hmm. I do a whole bunch at a time. These are nice. And this is just water in here um, with a steamer that I usually use for other vegetables. I find steaming my vegetables is, is fast and it's, it really um, has a lot of the nutrients that you still want to have oh, when yeah. you're doing vegetables. And they're not real soft, nothing worse than real soft vegetables. And do we want to put this on? Not yet. No, okay. What we're going to do is put a little olive oil and with the scallops. Now, the reason I prepared that first is because we want to be able to turn that on when we reduce the sauce, and then the, everything will be ready at the same time. Okay. So we're going to put a little olive oil in here. And get all the way down. All the way down. And then bring it up. Is it on? No. This is my job in life, <laughs> is to do this. And sometimes it runs amok, but they're great, these butane burners. And I'm going to move that over there. I'm going to put a little more uh, butter. Now, I always use real butter. You're putting butter and oil. Butter and oil. The reason that I do that is, one, for the flavor, and two, that the butter reduces the um, smoking temperature of the oil. So it, it allows you to make it a little bit higher oh, in okay. temperature. Um, I, I am always looking for recipes that are quick to do. Why quick? Because my schedule is so busy. <laughs> I will have a full-time job. Then I have to come home and help my son with his homework. And then I go out for usually council meetings. Yes. So, yes. or some sort of borough meetings or community Olivia's things. Olivia's borough council. Yeah, so it's, it's a busy time. And she's in other committees besides borough council. Mm -hmm. So it takes a lot of time. Up. All her, I think your, your husband's pretty active. Too. Yeah. He's I saw his uh, name in the paper the <laughs> other day. <laughs> he was just appointed to the sewer authority. Oh, was he appointed? Mm -hmm. I thought he was waiting to be appointed the yeah, day well, I read the paper. And uh, so that's, you know, so the, between the two of us, we're always looking for fast things to cook for dinner. And you do most of the cooking now? I do all the cooking. All the cooking. Well, I shouldn't say all. He does breakfast right. sometimes. Okay. Um, but I do all the cooking and I do all the groceries. So as you can imagine, things get a little busy. But um, the, the advantage to having things quick is that we can get to sit down together as a family. Yeah. And that's what's important. That's nice. And so I try to do that and I try to have... Um, Candles on the table at every, every night. meal. Mm -hmm. uh, every, time that <laughs> every time that we have um, dinner together. Now these are our um, scallops. scallops. These are um, 
sea. sea scallops. Now, sometimes I use bay scallops, sometimes I use sea scallops. It all depends on what's available. I don't and like bay scallops. They're like mushy croutons. <laughs> they can be if you overcook them. The secret with scallops is that you don't overcook. So now that we have the... Um, oh, look at that. Ah, they're mine. Then we're going to turn that down a little bit. Yeah. Turning down here is turning up. Okay. And we're going to put in a little white wine so that the flavor... Now that's the thing is I don't measure anything until it looks good. And that looks about right. A lot of people don't do that. And that's why I'm not a very good baker. Ah, <laughs> yeah, bakers, bakers have to ha do the exact precise measurements in a, a baking powder, baking soda, flour. And now we're going to put in juice of a lemon. Be using and lemon. I, could you use lime? You could, but I think le lemon is a little bit better. Now, usually I use a cheesecloth for this, but get the seeds, which are now going all in the thing. Oh, well, you can pick them out. That could be a contest. <laughs> Who finds the most seeds? Here's one. A little bit. And the, the, the thing with scallops is you don't want to overcook them too much because they can get rubbery. You want to cook them enough that they're firm, but How not... How long are you going to cook these? Oh, until they look good. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. As I said, there's no particular science with this, I found. No, it isn't. Something like that, and it's your own recipe. And I hate to tell everybody, the very own recipe probably has been invented by four million people. I'm sure it has been. <laughs> They don't know. So if anyone out there has seen this in a cookbook, I didn't steal it. <laughs> it was my recipe, or at least I thought it up on my own. Well, you do a recipe for so long, it becomes your own. Mm -hmm. I've done this uh, pumpkin nut bread mm -hmm. for, oh, I hate to tell you how long, let's say well over 40 years. Now it's my recipe. I don't know who it belonged to originally, but it's my recipe now. Oh, they look really nice. Yeah, they're, they're firming up very, and very nicely. And you're working with them nice, turning each one. We want to make sure that they cook evenly. Different cooking on this stove. Unfortunately, I have an electric stove at home, and I love gas. I wish I could have a gas stove. So well, it's I have a, a gas real stove pleasure. And I like electric. You want to switch? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I like those straight electric ones where you can clean all the mess up and stuff mm -hmm. without thinking, you know, about going down in the little crevices and yeah, very clean. Well, the I think the gas is a lot easier because when you cook, you want to and turn it off. It's off. It's off. Mm -hmm. And with the electric stove, I have to take it off the burner. And sometimes if I have all four burners going, it's a little hard to do that. So. Now oh, they, it smells great. Yeah, they're beginning all to all smell. All that it is is scallops. Mm-hmm. That's, I shouldn't say it that old. It, like, <laughs> to me, that's it. That's all I need. Oh, my. Well, you could, you you could have wine end in up here, this though, huh? Yes, I have wine, white cooking wine. Now, you can use cooking wine. Some people just use regular wine. Um, I don't find that there's that much of a difference. But if you're going to do something that, that has a very wine taste, you might want to use just regular drinking wine. And I've heard it said that you should never cook with anything you're not going to drink with. But Maybe you can drink this. Should we try it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, they look about done. They're not rubbery, but they're firm. So I'm going to remove wow. them from the pan. And the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want them to get overcooked. But we have a very, um, with very liquidy sauce in here, and we're not going to use it that way. We're going to, we need to reduce it. And reducing the sauce also allows the flavors to really get in there. Do you know the self-control I'm showing now? <laughs> <laughs> Usually I would use a slotted spoon for this. But she didn't bring a slotted spoon. I, I forgot a to bring spoon. one. Now we're going to add the salsa. Down. No, I want it up. Whoop. It's really burning underneath you, so you know that. And we're going to add about half a cup, I guess. And this, you bought this salsa. Yeah, this is Tostitos brand, mild. Good. Uh, 
She must listen to the show. She knows. <laughs> <I don't like laughs> and I, I like this brand the best. I think it has the best flavor. And now we're going to turn on the asparagus. Now, all the way on. And what we're trying to do here is reduce it and get it a little bit less in liquid. Pretty color. Yeah. And, and it goes well with the, it like goes well with the uh, asparagus, the I red and the green. Notice, did you put the juice in the container? I had rinsed there? them and oh. put them in the container and brought them over when they were rinsed. Oh, so okay. there was just a little water. It wasn't the juice that it came in. No. No, I find it, it's better for the flavor if you don't um, use that. So turn it down just a little bit. You don't want it to burn. Heavens forbid. <laughs> And this one, we want it very high. It's, it's we want to get to boil it. These lemons smell great. But as you can see, this is a very quick, because it's almost done. We're going to have the reduction of the sauce. And then we're going to do that. Now, you can serve this on rice. I brought rice with me um, That's good. today. But um, you can serve it on rice. You or spoon? You can just not yet. Not um, yet. Or I'll get noodles anyway. if you want to. Now, the other ingredient, which is the very important ingredient is the avocado. Oh, okay. Now, the thing with avocados is at the grocery store, these are called haas. I don't know what, why they're called that. And you see some that are very dark like this, mm -hmm. and there are also some that are greener. Mm -hmm. um, I usually go towards the darker ones. I think they have more flavor. The thing with avocados is sometimes you can't tell what they look like inside, and you have to be very careful when you buy them, don't get them all squishy because you open it up and they're all brown and Rotten. horrible inside. But you, and you don't want to get them really hard either because then they don't taste good. But the ones that have, the, see how it's just soft right there in oh the yeah. top? That's probably a good one. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so too. Okay. But that's why I brought two. I was mentioning before, one of our guests from before bought these in big bags of frozen Oh, yeah? Avocados. And that was really, they were quite good for, for a frozen product. Mm hmm Now, this looks pretty good. It's got a very nice creamy flesh, as you can see here, with the dark outside, and there's no brown in it. And what we want to do with the se seed is... Oh, I love when people do that. Do that. And we very can way to take it out. out and you can do a plant out of that. Um, I usually have a bigger knife at home, but that one is uh, very Maybe. good. I got it. I have a clean one if you need it. Oh, now we gotta take a look. I'll just shovel this over those. there. <laughs> no, I don't need those. I don't need them. You don't need them. And I'm just gonna cut these in uh, quarters. That is just, how old is your son? He's 13. Does he like this? Yeah, he does, actually. Now, the, the other nice thing about an avocado when they're ripe is they'll peel very easily. Oh, just look like at that. that. Very the frozen easily. ones I mentioned came like so you just already take the, peeled. Take the avocado skin and you just peel it right off. You don't have to worry about scooping it out or anything. Oh, and that's, that's great. That's the trick. I mean, if you know that it's ripe, perfectly ripe, then it'll do that. Yeah, I know. It's, it's almost like a banana, an avocado. When you eat a green banana, mm -hmm. and the texture of it makes your tongue get... I can't exactly explain, all curled up. And I always think of the avocado doing that, too. Mm -hmm. It's not the right texture. It's not real good. Yeah. I love avocados. I just like to eat them with salt oh, yeah? and just eat them right up. Okay, now it looks like our, our sauce is pretty c reduced. Now you see, it was all very liquidy before. It's getting much better. And our asparagus there, I'm going to mm -hmm. turn this up just a little bit. Because uh, we don't want to have too much liquidy in there. We just want to have a nice sort of just consistency right. of oatmeal kind of thing, maybe a little bit runnier oatmeal. And let's check these. You want to stab them? Yeah. Yeah, they look almost done. I know a better way to check them. <laughs> How's that? Eat them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do that too. Now at the very end, that looks pretty good. Getting there. And one of the reasons when you reduce the sauce, you really intensify the flavor. So you're going to get all that lemon and all the wine and all that salsa flavor in there. 
And right before you put the scallops back in to warm them up, and you know, these little plates are very nice, but I think I'm going to put everything on the big dish so oh, yeah. you can see the color. So I was going to use these individually, but I think with the color all together with the asparagus works okay. a lot better. <laughs> I'm easy. <laughs> oh, well. Wow. So yeah, they look good. really good. How are we doing on time? We have a lot of time. <laughs> and then you're going to cook more of these? Are you cooking them? No. We're just going to okay. slice them up so that the presentation is there. And yeah, so as you can see, everything is very quick. Everything is very. I mean, is, is this basically done. going to be done? Mm hmm As soon as these get a little bit I more. I have to test these, just in case they're poison. <laughs> they need a little more. A little bit more. Okay, we'll put the lid back on. You have it. Mm-hmm. Pretty little use. numbers, but they do work. Yeah. Do you do anything with these? No. Julia Childs used to clean them with the oh, um, potato peeler mm -hmm. and cook them. But I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> I don't have that much time. I don't think it's worth it. No, and yeah. I know that people use them for stock. Uh -huh, that's a good thing. And um, they say that you should never waste anything. You should always cook. Uh, save everything, save all your scraps, and use them for stock. But since I never have time for anything, and I like to cook, but buy I don't have time. Stock. I buy cans of stock. Me too. I, I mean, cheat. I once in a while I cook up stock, but it's not. It's just as easy to buy a can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the non-sodium kind. It has an awful lot of salt in it. Stock. There's a new powder stock, not bouillon. There's the powder, mm -hmm. and they have them for vegetable. I always use vegetable stock in everything. That way, it's it's. Hmm. Excuse me. I have. It's more flexible for people that are vegetarians and mm -hmm. more and more vegetarian. So I use vegetable stock and I get it's in a little container and it's a powder. Mm -hmm. and you use it by the teaspoons and that's really a good thing. Well, I, since I, it's hard for me to, um, you know, if I use things intermittently, I like to use the bouillons and, yeah. the, and the granulated stock yeah. because that way I can just put it in there, put it in the microwave with a little bit of water. And uh, the bouillon has an awful lot of salt. Yeah, you well, can get like the salt. salt. You can have the like low sodium. sodium. You have to taste the food to make sure that it's not too salty. No kidding. <laughs> I am not kidding. I have heard people say, my mother is a big one on this. I don't taste anything when I'm cooking. And I tell you, I can tell. <laughs> you know, it, she just, uh, she's not. Then my cousin Jeannie can taste away an entire meal mm -hmm. cooking it for her family. A little taste of this, a little taste of this. Oh, I know. Next I'm the same it, way. nothing left. You I'm know. the same way. I'm exactly the same way. It oh, gets, this is, uh, it really, so great. It really gets uh, pretty bad sometimes. <laughs> if it's something that I like, <laughs> I'll taste it away. Oh, you buy two pounds of scallops. Yeah. <laughs> scallops aren't really that expensive, are they? Considering what you're paying now for hot dogs. Oh, yeah. Well, these were on sale, um, and so they were $8 for the pound. Now, if you get them with the card. Yeah. And then you know, save $2.50. Right. That's what it says right there. Right. Yeah. It's... Uh, what are hot dogs anymore? Five dollars a package, some places. I don't buy a lot of hot dogs. No, I don't either. <laughs> but I look at them. I happen to like hot dogs a lot, and I don't eat them much. But I look at them a lot. I know. Lot. Well, my husband buy, likes hot dogs too, and I buy them occasionally. Okay, they look pretty good. I, I buy them occasionally, and I'll keep a bag, a package in the freezer. So if in case of a quick meal, I can hot whip dogs up some sauerkraut and potato. You know that kind of things. Then with some meal, it's not just. The roll and the but the roll and the mustard makes it. Well, you can do you can do things with hot dogs. You yeah. can do, you can mix them with eggs. You can make a frittata out of them. Yeah. You can put mix them with potatoes. Uh -huh. And you can put other meats in there. If you have some leftover rice or noodles, you can mix it with that. Slice it thin. Slice yeah, it yeah. thin. Um, you can put it on top of a pizza. I mean, you can use a lot of stuff. You can make it hot dogs. <laughs> 
a hot dog salesperson <laughs> the rate you're going, but then you can, you're a very good salesman, I'm sure. <laughs> well, I tend to do a lot of, I try to do a lot of creative things in the kitchen because sometimes I don't have an idea of what I'm going to make for dinner because I haven't planned ahead. It's a rush uh -huh. night, and I just sit there and I look at the cabinet and go, oh, okay. And my husband's favorite story is that one day we came home and I said, I don't have anything for dinner. And 20 minutes later, there was a gourmet meal out on the table because I had gone into the pantry and I just started mixing things together. You keep a pantry? Mm-hmm. A nice pantry, you can, by what you're saying. Right. Well, I make sure pantry. that I have things on hand, like Peanut olive butter. oil. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> olive oil, cooking wine, spices, uh, staples like rice and noodles and pastas, and various different things like that that I can keep. Canned soups. Mm -hmm. You can always do a good thing with canned soups. Um, I have a lot of things in the freezer. Sometimes they stay in the freezer too long, but um, things in the freezer that I can just grab, put in the microwave, defrost, and just whip something together. And it might, you know, it might be an experiment, but it's tasty. You could be one of those 30-minute chefs <laughs> on TV. They really, I'm surprised that they do get done what they do. I count. I don't believe they do it in 30 minutes, mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. I'm there counting, and once in a while, I, they might go over a little, not a lot, and what they're doing. Some of the prep work, I think, is done in between and by somebody else. Right, but, right. You know, who am I to, to <laughs> say? We have so we have uh, prep the sea chefs here, don't we? <laughs> it's her or me or one of the guys. That's it. Okay, let's finish this up because okay. I want to eat something. Yeah. Well, we're going to take the asparagus. We're put them on the plate with the this avocado. Is, hey, that fish goes well. Yeah. And put, always put a little butter. I lose a, bu a lot of butter in my cooking. Real butter. You real say. butter. Always real butter. I don't like salted the taste of margarine. I buy the salted. And now we're going to take a little rice. Sweet butter has a funny taste. Mm -hmm. That's why I like the salted butter. Now the one thing I'm not very good at is rice. My rice always comes out a little sticky. Is that minute rice? Mm -mm. Oh. No, I use regular real rice. I don't believe in. I had a no. friend, Stephen. Stephen could wreck the rice, the minute rice. He was a great cook. He couldn't cook rice. Yeah, I, I really can't cook rice. It always comes out too sticky. I think I need a steamer. That won't help. Or maybe the brand? Well, I, I, I tried to I don't know brands. if that changes anything or not, the brand. I just want. Okay. Now, this is one person? Well, no. This is just this a show. This is just a show. Okay. I'm going to show it over here to the camera. Show the camera. So that first. you see the colors. You have the greens and the reds of the t of the uh, sa of the salsa and the green of the avocado. Now, with one person, you would just choose a couple of <laughs> couple of slices of avocado. Okay. So you got your fork ready. I'm not going to eat that. That's too pretty. I'll eat <laughs> one of these. Mm. This is good. You like it? Mm hmm. This makes wonderful breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to taste one of these. I love asparagus. Asparagus are good, and they're very good for you. Actually, they also can act as a diuretic if you're having, <laughs> if you need to have, you know, you've had Water too much in your salt. Body. You need to just get rid of that. You can eat a lot of asparagus, and they're very low calorie yeah. and high in fiber. Yeah, uh oh, but they're, and I like them. I know a lot of people don't like them. More and more people are becoming fans of asparagus. I think. Mm -hmm. but for a long time, they, they didn't really want them at all. You know, they didn't want them. Tell me something. You're involved in another project, Weed and Seed. Mm -hmm. Is that still active? That yeah, year? it still is going. Um, the Weed and Seed coordinator from Montgomery County, Aretha Swift, has is still on the job. She's still getting things done. And um, then there's the um, tall team. There are two teams with the weed and seed, the A team and the tall team. I can't remember what the acronyms stand for, except uh, target action local leaders is what tall is. Mm -hmm. And those are the, they're going into their second uh, class for um, people who are interested in helping in the, w along with that weed and seed project. And they are people who are community leaders, community activists Keep in the talking. program, in the, in the community, and want to learn more about the, d the skills that are needed to become more than an activist. And um, if anyone's interested, they can contact Aretha or 
uh, using you or here or, you know, <laughs> or myself along if anyone's or interested. myself if because they're interested in that I do know people are out there watching because I run into them in the supermarket a lot and they tell me things <laughs> that I don't even remember anymore but they do know so you can contact us I can't remember Lydia's name you're in the phone or, book right? yes, yeah, yeah yeah I am in the phone book she or you can look on the, on the borough website and see my name oh. yeah but and uh, let me finish it oh. Well, you have to have some of the avocado along with them. Oh, okay. Because it's that the creaminess along with the with the scallops. With the scallops. I'll only eat a little. Mmm, <laughs> very nice. I don't care. Creaminess is fine. It's the scallop. <laughs> I'm the scallop monster. And um, um, it don't take you a lot. We didn't see. Don't they do a lot of uh, printing projects and all? Printing? No, printing. Planting. Planting. Well, Beautiful. they have done some planting, um, some beautification process. But um, I understand this show is going to be aired on Election Day. Oh, yes. So I want to make sure the viewers get out there and vote. It's very important, a very important election. Yes, for everyone to get out there and vote, no matter who you vote for. It's hard to say sometimes, but... <laughs> <laughs> That's so right. So listen, I'm going to continue looking this over. And... Uh, I want to thank you very much. Well, I you're know very this welcome. is one of your days off. Mm -hmm. And you decided to come in and see us, and we're very happy about that. Well, thank you. And um, I'm really happy that you came. <laughs> and so will everyone else if they like to see you. And so thank you once again, Olivia. Oh, you're very welcome. And thank and you for having me on the show. So this is Olivia Brady and Betty Banjack for Look Who's Cooking. See you now.